Let's bring in Amanda Gizzi, the director of Jewelers of America. Okay, we have, and maybe you can get a close up of this, four diamonds here. Uh, you say, by the way, I like the way you said it, they're all real. It's just one is lab grown. Correct. Okay, so one, put up, put up the picture of these four rings again. One of these is lab grown. I'm going to just turn it a little just so you can see the sparkles there. I, I don't know if either, if anybody can tell. Can you look uh -huh. at the camera there and tell which one you think? Number one, one. number two, number number three or number four? One. Which you think it's this one yes. that is the lab growth. I think it's this one that based on the color. Point. That's the smallest carrot wise. Amanda, who got it right? You actually got it right. I did. You did. That was my you did. Holy <laughs> mackerel. You did. So it was, and, and the reason I said that is because it's a little darker. Yeah. It doesn't sparkle quite as much as the others. Is, is that is that right? I mean, it sparkles wonderfully, but not in the same way that the others sparkle. So here's the interesting thing about diamonds. Lab grown is another way that you just need to educate yourself. All natural diamonds are all going to look different from one another. They're all individual. They all have different characteristics. Some color is brighter, some sparkle more than others. Um, and lab grown really are no different. They're actually graded on the same scale from the GIA as you just heard Olivia talk about. Um, so they all have different certifications that come along with them. So they're all gonna sparkle a little bit differently. Um, really what you just need to understand is some of the things that Olivia did talk about. You know, lab growns are grown in a laboratory. Yes. They are not grown inside of the earth. Um, so they are starting to become really abundant. That's why we are starting to see the prices fall for these lab grown diamonds because there are so many of them coming into the market as a big manufacturer. Are they as hard as diamonds? Of course, historically we, we've, we've heard time and again there's nothing harder than a diamond. Is, is, are they a little more fragile than the real diamond? They are a diamond. Um, so they are still the same care uh, hard hardness as a natural diamond they are you know just created in a lab versus in in the earth C can I ask a question sure. etiquette wise yeah when one is proposing great question with a stone do you say at the time this is lab grown not natural always say um, the biggest thing for lab grown diamonds is all disclosure and that starts yes. from where you buy it so you want to shop with a reputable jeweler all jewelers are required by law to actually disclose what they're selling to you. So you should know that you're buying a lab grown and that really should go along to the person that you're looking to propose to. Um, you know, nothing worse than having her go into a store five years down the road and wanting to upgrade oh. and them saying, you can't because oh. it's actually lab grown and it's not worth anywhere close to what you paid for it however many years oh. ago. And that's the thing about natural is they do, because it is not a, f a finite supply, yes. Yes. Um, there is a finite supply, so I mean, they're going to hold their value By a little way, bit can longer. I, can I get costs from you? Uh, if we could go back sure. to the diamonds here, number one, the biggest diamond. Yeah, so much? that's a 3.65 carat. So, you know, as Olivia mentioned, all of these are going to range in price. So you could be around $35,000 for that. Okay. Um, and a two carat stone, uh, it, prices are dropping quickly. Yeah. So, But the, the one that is that is lab grown, this one, how much? So it's usually anywhere between you know two thousand and ten thousand, depending again on those characteristics. Well, they all. So look we're wonderful. seeing about a seventy-five okay. percent difference in price between lab-grown and natural. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thank it's a busy you, time of well. year. Thank you for making time for us. Thank we you really for having appreciate me. Appreciate it.